Hi YouTube, it's Melissa or Melly's VSG 2012 coming to you on my third week of post-op. It's been three weeks. Um, well, tomorrow will be three weeks since my um, my surgery, my vertical sleeve. Um, and I wanted to come on here quickly and discuss a couple of things. Um, I know I promised you guys I was going to have a video up and I recorded the video. And I don't know why, but I can't get it to upload to YouTube. So hopefully I'll have better luck with this video. So I want to give you my numbers from last week and this week. And then talk a little bit about them. And maybe just go over some stuff because I just got back from support group. Um, and talk about some of the stuff that we talked about in support group. So, um, to go for the numbers, I am 27, I'm 5'3". Um, now, last week, I think that my body weight stayed the same, or it might have gone up one. You might have to go back and check. But my weight last week was 359, and um, my fat mass was 208, and then it looks like my muscle was 151. Okay, and from previously, that um, had gone down, my muscle mass, but the, um, the nurse said that that was to be expected because, you know, I wasn't getting any nutrients really in, um, and that I either, I don't remember from the last video, but I think I either gained a pound or stayed the same, and I've been fluctuating back. Um, the last two weeks, it seems like I've been fluctuating a couple ounces here and there. Um, and it's really, really aggravating when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're not eating that much because I can literally say that, you know, I don't eat very much and I'm full. And um, it's just annoying. And then I had, um, I got on the scale today because I was at support group. And let me give you my weight for today because it went up again. Um, it went up to 360 pounds, 0.5. The only thing good about that is that I lost my my fat mass is 205, so it went down three pounds. I lost three pounds of fat and actually gained um, four pounds of muscle. I think three or four pounds of muscle. So even though my you know I gained a pound, at least I know in that pound and a half that I gained, I gained muscle and I lost fat. So, I mean, that's good. My body's shifting. Things are happening. They told me it was normal not to freak out. That I might go a couple of weeks without losing any weight, and then I should start losing weight. Because my body's still kind of all over the place. I mean, think about it. You're not eating anything for, like, a month, and then all of a sudden you're trying to add these food back, foods back, and your body doesn't really know what it's doing. Is it starving? Is it, you know, getting food? So it's it's a little tricky. It's hard not to get frustrated, and it's very easy for people to say, well, don't look at the numbers. Um, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you not to look at the numbers because you want to know why? Because I've been overweight since I was four years old and for 23 years I've done nothing but look at numbers. And it's, you're not going to learn, you know, in four weeks that, oh, you know, don't look at the numbers. No, you're going to look at the numbers and it does get frustrating, but I d try not to concentrate on the weight and try to concentrate on like, um, like personal milestones and things, you know, I try to think think and be positive like for example um you know in these 30 something pounds that I've lost um you know before I couldn't get my I drive a Nissan Altima I couldn't get the buckle um and my seat belt to buckle and if it did it was like choking me and it was really tight and I couldn't move in it and I can put my seat belt on now with like super easy and I have room to breathe and it's it's comfortable you know and that's something in 30 something pounds that I've noticed you know jeans that I haven't been able to wear in two um two years they fit me now so um I try I'm trying to focus more on those things but the weight does frustrate me but at least I know from last week that I'm up you know in my muscle because like I, I am I've been working out you know I've been exercising and um and down in my body fat so i try to look at that and hopefully next week i'll have some good news and maybe a big weight loss or something i don't know we'll see um but yeah it's been it's been a change um i had a great video last week for you guys that didn't upload and kind of talking about what i was eating um so i guess i'll talk a little bit about that now um i'm on the the blended food and it doesn't necessarily have to be blended. Um, 
blended, or I shouldn't say blended, I should say pureed, is not what exactly what you think. Um, because to me, pureed sounds like I have to stick everything in the blender. So um, the nurse told me no, that as long as I cut it and, you know, got my fork and mushed it up really good and made sure that I chew food really, really well, that that was okay. So um, I have been doing uh, refried beans. I do that. Um, and that goes down really easy. I tried doing boiled eggs and then mushing it up with my fork and then like make sure that I chew and chew and chew and chew and chew until it's very, just very, very like, um, just very fine. Um, and it didn't sit very well. So I've only had an egg once and that was a week ago. So maybe I could try it again and see if it goes down. I could probably even do like a scrambled egg. Um, and add cheese or something for some more protein. Um, but I'm not sure how that's going to go down. So I'll try that soon and I'll let you guys know. Um, the cottage cheese, the first day that I had it, didn't sit too well with my stomach. It was It's funny, the things that do sit well and don't sit well. And it's not was it wasn't like I was throwing up or um, run into the bathroom for anything. It's not like that. It's like when you eat something and you guys that have had it or people that are going to have it, you'll notice that when you have something, you can actually literally feel it go down into your stomach. And you kind of even feel like when it's being processed, it's very, very weird. Even when you drink liquid, it's like, especially when you drink it too fast, it like just, you feel it go down. And it's just a very funny feeling that you have to seem, you have to get used to it. It's kind of weird, but it doesn't hurt or anything. Um, and some foods sit, and I feel like they sit, and they just sit there, and I can feel like it's heavy. And some foods are, are easier. Um, now I haven't done, done the beef or anything because, um, I'm supposed to stay away from that. So, basically I've been living off of, like, beans and chicken and fish. And I'm not a fish person, so by when I say fish, it's actually tuna fish, and I'm actually not a big fan of that. And don't like it too much, but, um, I've been trying to have a little bit of that, and, you know, I can have the mayonnaise and stuff, but not too much, like, um, you can't do, like, celery. You have to be, like, mushy. If you do vegetables, it has to be mushy vegetables, like a broccoli or something that's, like, steamed, and then you, like, kind of mesh it up with your your fork or blend it or, you know, just make sure you chew it, chew it, chew it really well. It has to be soft. So, um, yeah, I mean, everything's been going pretty good, uh... I'm still having issues with the protein shakes, but I'm doing better. Today was actually the first day that I went through my protein shake and I drank it like in 30 minutes. Um, and I did pretty good with it. wasn't gagging with it. wasn't um, too heavy on my stomach. And I was able to get through it. So I'm really happy about try getting that protein in. And I'm going to be trying to make sure that I do get that protein in at least every, um, you know, that protein shake in once a day. Um, I've been doing a lot of yogurt. Um, yogurt sits really, really good with my stomach, and I was a little scared because supposedly the 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 pouch that we have can only hold about four ounces, and it scares me because I can eat probably the whole yogurt, if not most of it. And um, what I've been finding myself doing is only eating half of it and saving the other half um, for two or three hours later to have it again. And I talk to, and this is why the support groups are so important. If your doctor has support groups or if you guys can get the support group started there, it's really, really helpful because you have so many questions um, with different things. And, and like today, my question was, you know, am I eating too much? Am I going to stretch out my pouch because I'm eating too much? And I guess apparently because the yogurt is like more in a liquidy form, you can probably have more of that. But if you were having three ounces of chicken, you're going to get full a lot faster than with the yogurt. So, it, you know, the, the meat weighs more than the yogurt. It's it's kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's because it doesn't make sense, the meat weighs more than the yogurt. I guess the meat is more dense than your yogurt. I guess that's a better word to use. Um, so it's, it's like a learning process, and I'm still learning when I'm full. I'm still having an issue figuring that out. Sometimes I feel like I don't know if my stomach hurts because I'm full or because I ate too fast or because um, 
I took too much, I didn't chew it, you know, well enough. It's, it's a learning process. It's like you're a baby all over again and you're like a newborn and you're just learning how to walk or crawl or something. It's, it's not something that you learn overnight and I'm trying to be patient and understand that about myself. Um, so yeah, now that I'm getting different foods in my body, I feel so much more happier and I'm less of a grouch now than, than I was before because I feel like I'm able to enjoy food more. And I was talking to my neighbor because we rode together to the support meeting because she lives right across the street from me. Um, and we were discussing about how I felt like before I never really enjoyed food and I never really understood when someone said that they like to eat because I didn't like to eat. I mean, yeah, I mean, people could think that's crazy because I was 300 and, you know, whatever, 70, 380 pounds, or when I was in high school, 290 something pounds, you know, and you think, you know, she's big. What do you mean you don't like to eat? You eat. Um, but it's just, it's not like that. It's like I ate because it was habit or because it was emotional. It wasn't because I sat down and I enjoyed it. You might enjoy the first two or three bites, but. It's like you just scarf the food down and you don't really think about it. And now I feel like since you're more aware of what you're eating and I've been, my taste buds are where have been all over the place and, um, you know, you sit down and you eat and when you take that bite and every bite that you have, you enjoy it. You enjoy the food. So now I can understand when people say that they enjoy eating because I feel like I'm enjoying eating more. You know, even though I can't eat that much, and even though it's only a taste or two of this or that, even though I'm not even eating all the normal food that I could possibly be eating in two weeks, I enjoy it. I, I take every small little bite that I eat, I enjoy it. So it's, you know, it's... It's different, and, and a lot of you will see that once you have the surgery, what I mean when you say that I never realized how much I hadn't enjoyed a food you know I you didn't enjoy food you scarfed it down you don't realize that and now that you have to eat slowly and you take every bite and you you know let it you know savor in your mouth and you just taste it it you just find like food is so much more it's more enjoyable now so I really feel like that's something that's changed um and you know everyone's different you know so my experience might not be the same as yours but um some of my experiences might be the same as yours. Uh, but, you know, I take every day, I take it day by day. Tomorrow's going to be my first day back to work. So that's why I decided to go ahead and do the video and try to get it uploaded tonight. That way I wouldn't have to worry about it tomorrow because I'm going to be stressed out, stressed out enough as it is with my job. Because my job is extremely, extremely stressful. Um, I won't go into detail about what I do, but I do work for the state and it's a very, very stressful job. And I'll leave it at that. Um, and I've actually really enjoyed these three weeks off, so even though I probably might have not needed it physically, 